Hi everyone, welcome to the third lesson in the Milovich introductory course. My name is Philip and I will be leading this lesson. In this lesson, I will introduce the Milovich API in three parts, namely the API overview, the basic operations, and the API demo. In the API overview section, I will give you an initial introduction to the main API calls that we use with Milovich. This includes the Python, Java, Go, RESTful, and C++ versions. When going over the basic operations, I will explain in detail the four most common API calls in Milvis, including creating a collection, inserting entities, creating an index, and searching for vectors. In the demo section, I will demonstrate the previous APIs in a Jupyter Notebook Lab to give you a more intuitive experience. Let's go over the basic API calls. Create collection is used to create a collection, which can be understood as a table in a relational database. This is the basis for all subsequent operations. Has collection is used to see if the collection already exists within Milvis. If you try to create a collection that already exists or uses the same name, you'll get an error. So it's best to call this API call before creating a new collection. Get collection inf info returns the basic information about a collection, such as the number of entities, which fields it contains, the index types, or the distance metric used for that collection. Count entities returns how many vectors are stored within that collection. List collections lists all the collections that Milvis is currently storing. Get collection stats lists the statistics of a collection. This is different from get collection info because it lists information about the partitions and the segments stored within Milvis. Load, co load collection is used to load a collection from disk to memory. This is done to speed up the search time and it should be done once a Milvis is booted up. Drop collection is used to remove a specified collection from Milvis. Insert is used to input our vectors into the system. I'll go into further details later in the lesson. Get entity by ID is used for returning the vector based on a given ID. Create index is used for selecting which index and to begin the creation of the indices. And I'll talk about this one as well later. Drop index is used for when you want to remove the indexing of a collection. This is normally done to select a new index or to free up space. Create partition is used to create a partition. Partitions allow you to tag vectors and search within those specific tags in order to speed up searches. Has partition is used to determine whether a specific partition already exists in the collection. This is similar to has collection. If we create a partition but the name of the partition is already in the collection, then we'll get an error, so we better use has partition before creating partitions. List partitions is also similar to list collections. It lists all the partitions within a collection. Drop partition removes a partition from a collection. This is also similar to drop collection. Search is the core command with Milvis, and it's used to find similar vectors based on a query vector. I'll discuss this later on in more detail. Delete entity by ID is used to delete a vector from the collection based on its ID. Flush is used to move data to disk. When we are performing operations related to data changes, we can flush the data in the collection from memory to make the data fall to disk. By default, Milvis performs a flush every second. One thing to note here is that when we call the delete by entity ID, we need to call flush again to make sure that the deleted vector won't be searched again. Compact is used for sorting segments. In the previous lesson, we talked about how a segment is a data file obtained by Milvis automatically merging the inserted vector data. A collection can contain multiple segments, and if a vector data is deleted from a segment, the space occupied by the deleted vector data is not automatically freed, which can waste a lot of space. For this reason, Milvis provides the compact interface to organize and merge the segments in a collection to free up space. Now let's go over the basic operation flows that we use in Milvis. First is creating a collection. We do this by calling create collection. The parameters for create collection are contained within the collection param dictionary for this example. To create a collection, we need the name, the dimensions, the index file size, and the metric type. Index file size specifies the size of a single file in megabytes when the data is being inserted, with a default value of 1024. As vector data is continuously imported, Milvis will incrementally merge the data into files. When a file reaches the index file size, it will be locked and Milvis will save new data to a new file. Metric type is the formula used for calculating the distance between vectors. Milvis currently supports Euclidean, Inner Product, Hamming, Tanimoto, and Jacquard distances. 
After a collection is created, we need to insert the data. This is done using insert. Before inserting, we have the choice of either using custom vector IDs or automatic vector IDs. In the case of automatic vector IDs, calling the insert command only requires two parameters, the collection name and the vectors themselves. When this command is called, a list of corresponding IDs will be returned. These IDs can then be used to edit, remove, and return the cor their corresponding vectors in Mildus. In the case of using custom IDs, insert will require the additional parameter called IDs. Mildus expects custom IDs to come in the form of a list of integers. One important note when inserting is that for each collection, all the IDs must either be automatically generated or custom. Mixing of ID types is not allowed. The next basic operation is the creation of an index using create index. Create index takes three parameters, the collection name, the index type, and the parameters for the selected index type. In this case, since we're using an IVF flat index, the parameter dictionary consists of nlist, which is an argument specific to the IVF indexes. nlist is the number of clusters to be created for each index. Mildus currently provides a rich variety of indexes, including flat, IVF flat, IVF SQ8, IVF SQ8H, IVF PQ, RNSG, HNSW, and ANOI. The classification of each index and scenarios that they apply to are shown in this table. The details of these indexes and which to use will be covered in the subsequent lessons of our course. Lastly, we need to perform the actual search. The search command takes four parameters, the collection name, the query records, the top k value, and the parameter dictionary for the index used. The parameter top k states how many similar vectors to search for. In this case, we are searching for the two more similar vectors. Query records is the list of vectors to perform a search on. Searching with Milvis can be done on a batch of vectors. Lastly, the parameter dictionary that corresponds to the specific index used, in this case IVF, contains the n probe, which tells us how many clusters to look in per file. Now let me demonstrate all these commands with a quick demo in Jupyter Notebooks. So this is our notebook and I'll go step by step to show how to use Milvis and how to interact with it. So the first step is to import the required libraries, which is Milvis and then a few other ones just for this example. And then we specify the dimensions of the vectors that we're using and the index file size. So the dimensions of the vectors is going to be 8 and the index file size is going to be 32 megabytes. And remember that dimensions are fixed for a collection. You can't have different size vectors in the same collection. Then we're going to connect to our Milvis um, container, which is running on localhost at the port 19530, which is the default. And I'm just going to drop this collection because it's already in my system from previous testings. And the deletion was successful. So first we're going to create the collection. We first need the name, which is going to be example collection, the dimension, which previously stated was 8, the index file size, which is 32, and the metric type. And in this case, we're using the Euclidean distance, or the L2 distance. So this just means that we created a successful collection. The next step will be to create a partition, named test partition, inside our collection. And that worked out well. Now we can check to see if our collection exists, and it does. We can check to see if our partition exists, and it does. And we can also see all the collections in our current running Milvis. There should just be one, which is this example collection. And all the partitions under this collection, which there should just be two, because there's the default partition and the test partition that we created. We can also contain get the information about the collection, which should say the name, the dimension, the index file size, and the metric type used. And now we can also create the index. And in this case, since we're using an IVF flat index, we're going to have the index parameter of nlist, which is 2048. So here we can create it. And we don't need vectors inside the collection. Because uh, if you specify the index beforehand, the indexes will be built as you're inserting the elements in. And in this case, we're just going to have 10 random vectors, and we're going to supply custom IDs. In this case, the IDs will be 1 through 10, or 0 through 9. And here we insert the vectors, so we successfully inserted them, and we also can see our vector IDs that we supplied in the status. And then we can count how many vectors are inside. There's 10. 
and we can obtain the we can use get entity by ID to get the vector for the specified ID number. In this case we pulled vector number one and we got the actual vector there. We can also load the collection um, into memory, which we just did here. We can get the statistics of the collection and here we can see the row counts, the segments and pretty much all the information that you would ever need. And here we can perform a search. So we're just going to search for the same exact vectors that we inputted. And we're going to search through 16 clusters because we're using IVF flat. Well, that's where the N probe comes in. So in this example, we're querying those 10 vectors that we already inserted. We're just searching for the same exact ones and seeing if the results match up. And we're searching for the top two results. And in this case, it was correct. And we can get the ID and the distance for each one. Next, we can also drop the index, which will delete the index that we're using, the IVF flat. You'll keep all your data, it just searches will now be slow. We can then put a new index to try out a different one, and this is successful. We can delete vectors themselves, so in this case we're deleting the vectors 1 and 2. And then we can flush all of this to disk, and here it says that, that was successful. And then because we deleted vectors, now we can clear out those vectors to free up some space by using compact. And that was successful. We can also drop the partition that we created, the test partition, which is all successful. And we can finally drop the entire collection, which if it exists, it's dropped. And that was successful. That's it for this lesson. Hope you learned some more information about using Milvis. Here you can find a few links to help you learn more about it and to get in contact with us in the community. See you in the next lesson.